Hey yo, this is the Rush You Crush You. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a tutorial guide on Cold War Zombies to begin to high round strategies in and outs and how to be a better player all around. Get your stats up, get your upgrades more quicker and in the, in the most fastest way possible. With further ado, let's get into the weapons and what attachments you should be putting on your guns to have better matches, rounds, all together when you're playing zombies going to be going to create a class. I'm just going to show you one example here. So listen up. Got the green machine, the M16 right here. And and when you go to your muzzle category, you're going to make sure that you always have an attachment that says inque inc increased increased equipment drop rate, which is the stuff that the zombies drop on the floor for you to be able to buy your armor, guns, upgrades, and support streaks, and lethal and tactical, ETC, etc. Stuff like that. So make sure for your muzzle you always have a flash guard or a SOCOM eliminator, agency silencer, anything that says increase equipment drop rate is an automatic. You put that on your gun at all times. Another thing for when you're going to your body category. You want something that says increase salvage drop rate at all times for the best matches possible so you're getting more ground loot from the zombies to be buying your upgrades. Guns, like I said, lethal tactical support, ETC, etc. So you want the flashlight or tiger team spotlight, anything that says increase salvage drop. Because for all attachments, the gun is going to be different. So just make sure that you have an increase salvage drop rate attachment or for your muzzle, increase increase. Equi equipment drop rate and for anything else that's personal preference I like speed when I'm playing in zombies so I'm gonna be doing like sprint to fire time and you know ADS time just stuff like that it's all personal preference big magazine suppressors uh, you know little sights whatever you like and we're gonna be going to skills here weapon classes you got launchers, specials, which is like crossbows and, and uh, I think it's just crossbows, but you know, SMG, shotguns, ETC, all that good stuff. With the Ethereum, crystals is how you upgrade your weapons, and it's going to be really important to get your weapons upgraded to do more damage. Because there's a lot of ways to do more damage in this game. Upgrade each class individually, pack a punch, upgrade it while you're in the match, but this is pretty important here. Because this is going to make you have better armor penetration, long range, critical, which is headshot damage. Unlock more attachments, have more attachments, make your gun better. Long shot range, more critical damage, close quarter damage. It just depends on what kind of gun you have. There's different kind of things. You know, assault rifle is going to be increased long damage range. Shotguns and SMGs are going to be close quarter range because that's just how you're supposed to play with those guns. Melee. Melee is really important because at level 3 you replace your gun with a uh, <clears throat> I mean your knife everyone has a knife but you replace it with a bowie knife that means you stab to round 10 for one stabs only without that whatever the round is is how many times it's going to take to stab a zombie so if it's round 5, 5 stabs 10, 10 stabs, bowie knife, 1 then tw when it gets to 20 is it's 10 to 20 is 2 stabs 20 to 30, 3 stabs, etc Field upgrades, not a very important thing here. When you're just starting off on Cold War Zombies, they're going to give you the default Frost Blast, which I don't really mess with. I just upgrade all the stuff just so I can upgrade all the stuff. All this does is freeze the zombies. It, it doesn't really do that good of a ability, in my opinion. Energy Mine. I used to use this a little bit. It, it is really fun to use. So what your guy does is he throws like this electric grenade thing goes on the ground it's pretty much a trip mine whatever goes over it like a zombie whatever big zombie is going through it it just it explodes and when you get um, it upgraded you can have two of them at the same time so that's really good um, I don't really use a wreath or shout so I don't know what that does healing aura revives your teammates really fast so say if you have three teammates down and you have your healing aura you just L1 R1 ability you get your people right up instantly. It's an instant revive. Uh, toxic growth. You literally throw down thorn bushes. It's a really cool upgrade. Um, 
yeah, it's really all it is. It's a thorn bush. The zombies won't do it. They die. There is no leaving the thorn bush. They die. Frenzy guard. Uh, activate repair. Enemies you kill repair. I don't use this too much, like I said. Uh, this one and Aretha, I don't really use. Ring of fire is what you're going to see me using. This is the ultimate high round strategy. I repeat, ultimate high round. Most important thing in this game is ring of fire. If you don't have ring of fire, you're probably going to be going down. The reason I say that, the ring of fire is literally a ring of fire that you stand in. Last 15 seconds. It does double burn effect damage, blocks enemy projectiles. While in the ring, ammo is taken from your stock instead of the magazine, which is your, means you're unloading, no reloading. Ha, you have a small chance of getting an insta-kill, so br ring of fire is pretty much already an insta-kill. If you get an insta-kill, that's pretty much a double insta-kill, and you're helping your teammates out with that insta-kill. Ring duration, burn effect, damage, and skill chance all increase the longer any player is inside. The more you're in the circle, the longer it's going to last. Very important. Now we're going to go to perks. You know, if you're a Zombies fan, you know what all these perks do. I'm not going to explain what all these perks do. Uh, but upgrading them is very important. I'll tell you what the best ones are in the game. That's Juggernog. You definitely want it to at least 3. You always want to get it to rank 5. Because you go from 150 to 250 health. Your armor is just stronger. You know, stuff like that. Stamina in this game is top 3. Right along with Deadshot. Deadshot is the best perk in the game. You want Deadshot for headshots. You want a headshot in zombies. Or you're not going to get nowhere. You're going to get pummeled in the corner and crying for your teammates. So, Deadshot Daiquiri. 100% extra critical damage damage when the enemy is at full health. Which means you aim at the head, they're pretty much dying. You want Deadshot Daiquiri. All the way upgraded. Stamina. All the way upgraded. You will not be able to run away from the zombies. Trust me, they're really fast in this game. Juggernog, Speed Cola, all that good stuff. Quick Revive is really cool. So, at rank 4, Revive an, an ally will increase both players' moving speed for a limited time. So, when I revive somebody, you're pretty much like Usain Bolt. You're running super fast for a few amount of seconds. It's, it's really funny. Um, no. All these perks are... Ultimately the same from from uh, zombie game to zombie game. This is the only different one that they've added from uh, Zombies that has never been in another zombies game. So I'll tell you what it is So when you double pack your gun Or not double pack, but when you upgrade your gun in the pack a punch machine to get blast furnace or dead wire or turned um, Any of that stuff this one is pretty much it it gives you like a, a random ammo mod too so if you have turned on your gun you can do like turned and then it'll give you a dead wire or turn then it'll give you a blast furnace or or turn then it'll give you um explosions it's just it just gives you a random thing which is still really cool because it's almost like you have two upgrades on your gun instead of one it's really cool to watch too and right to what i was just talking about ammo mods napalm burst zombies go on fire dead wire they get electrocuted syro freeze the zombies all freeze up when the zombies you shoot freeze up so they can't move brain rot is the best bullets deal toxic damage anyway best way to explain this is you shoot a zombie they they get turned which means that they're on your team and they are absolutely tearing it up when you have this all the way upgraded you have the chance to get three nearby enemies turned at the same time and they last 20 seconds i mean it's the best one. You always want to have brain rot on at least one of your guns. Shatter Blast is pretty much a series of explosions that's exploding the zombies. Like, <sighs> Shatter Blast is a pretty good one. Um, I didn't really like Deadwire when I first started playing this game, but I got it all the way upgraded. And it's... Oh, man, it's really cool to see. Like, ele the electricity from one zombie will go to the other, and it's, it's really cool to watch. It. It's really fun to watch Deadwire do its thing. So I would say if you're playing, you always want to brain rot, uh, Deadwire or Shatter Blast on your other gun. Still personal preference, you know what I mean. Brain rot's still the best though. So that's really it for the, the weapon classes, skills, accessory, uh, not accessories, but create a class skills. Pretty much told you everything you need to know from the create a class setup. 
I hope you guys understood more clearly what I'm talking about. So when you get into the game, you know what you're looking for, you know what you want to do, get to the high round. With further ado, we're going to jump into some gameplay with the King Rush You Crush You. Let's head right on in. No hesitation. Right back in it. No hesitation. We're going to go right to the M16 class here, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty much just going to be showing you guys exactly how to get through everything as quick as possible. Get your pack a punch. What the table does. What the accessories do. Stuff like that really, really quick. On the map. Fire base C. A shot valley Vietnam. Requiem team has reached the designated rendezvous. Find Maxis and bring her home. Raven off. My team in position. Haroshi. The soldiers of Requiem have arrived. I knew you would heed my warning. It is time to spill unclean blood. M16 is absolutely uh Captain. Headshot I wish King. we were talking under better circumstances. I disagree. There is no better time for Russians to speak than when they must. Lay down at quicker five, get a thousand. Take Open the teleporter to the Omega base. That's where you will find already. your Maxis. Right to the portal. That would help, but I have persevered enough. So you want to get pack a punch, all that stuff as quick as you can. You have to rack up points and stuff like that. Great. Now I've got requisites so on my turn. You have all these ether reactors. You have to open all these gates to get this. to them. You got one. Actually, two, this might work. Let's test three. a hypothesis. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna be showing you guys around the map and where all the perks are at, so you have a better understanding of where everything is located on the map. So in the beginning area, you have one of your crafting tables here. You're gonna have the Wonder Fizz that gives you all the perks. And you're gonna have the armor machine right out the front. You also have this little staircase up here. It goes all over the place. Not a really good spot to stay, but anyway. You got Quick Revive right in front of you at spawn. You can always buy. Go up the stairs. You got the shotgun there. And the best part of the map is going through the portal. So like I was already telling you guys, we have three ether reactors. I did them already. The zombies were uh, kind of getting in the way of things, but I'm going to go, I'm going to repeat everything. So you have one on this part of the map, on this part, and on this part. You always want to go to the part on the right here. The right is the best, that's where Juggernog is. You always want to get a Juggernog when you're playing, so this is the most important door. Beat the ether reactor like I showed you. And Juggernog is gonna be right over here. 2500. And uh, for some of us, you may get stuck in this room, so you know, if you ever happen to wander up here and you don't know where you're going, stuff like that, uh, it's kind of a door over here. You can open. <laughs> Shout out. Get your way through here, which brings you right back to pretty much, uh, back to, through the teleporter way. Alright, so we're back from where the teleporter is. We're gonna go to the middle spot. We just were to the right, now we're to the middle here. This is where the second ether is. It doesn't matter what number you call it, there's three of them. This is where the speed cola is gonna be, uh... And if you want to get speed cola, you can, go, you can go right ahead. And out here, you got a little, little outside enemy turf out here. Where the big zombies come. It's hectic. It gets very hectic out here. If you're wondering if you can come down here, yes. Yes, you can. But will you get destroyed? Yes. Yes, you will. You don't want to be over here. So that is the first um, um, door that I like doing, and then the second, I'm going to be showing you guys the third area that I like to be going, or that you have to be going to do the Aretha reactor. Once again, we're back at the teleportal spot, and when you come out of it, you're going to go to the left area. There's two ways to enter the place in there. You can go in here, and you can go here. This is the way I like going, you can climb all over the shit. Fun. Defeat the Aretha. And the perk you got in here, 
is stamina. The best. Stamina is the best. And then once again, you got a little little back area back here, you know. You can get all jazzy with it with the aliens come. I mean, the zombies coming. You can get right up in their face if you want. That's what I like doing because I'm live by the I live by the name Rush You Crush You. I gotta be right in their face, man. One other interesting thing that I don't do too much, but it is you got like a little little jump pad here. You can jump across the map and shit. This is crazy. Woohoo! Do a little stuff like that right to the other map. If you're ever in a sticky situation, go ahead and do that. You better just know where you're going though, pal. Alright, this is going to be fun. Let's explain this. You have ammo cache all around the map, so you literally don't even need a max ammo. You just buy ammo. This zombie is uh, is great. Let's see if we can make him into a crawler. Throwing grenade. Oh. Anyway. Come see me. You'll get what you want. So, you have a crafting table here, right? You got the tactical, and you have the lethal. You use your green points on the lethal, which is, what, it says 750 right there? For instance, stem shots. They're 100 points. I buy five of them. Now I'm at 250. So you have all your green points for tactical and lethal. Support. This is your blue points. These are expensive. These kill the, the zombies really quickly. I'm going to tell you right now. The uh, combat bow. I'm going to pause it real quick so I can explain. Um, the combat bow. The death machine. The war machine. The lower point stuff, in my opinion, is actually better to use in buying expensive stuff. Will it kill as many? It might not. If you use them smartly, most definitely. Uh, the helicopter is 250 blue points. It's hard to get the blue points because you only get them 10 at a time when the zombies drop them. 50 points at a time when you pick up the, the green salvage when the zombies drop them. But the helicopter is 250. Self-revised 250. Those are the best ones. Those are the funnest ones to get. But in my opinion, I really like getting the low, low price things that kill just as many zombies as anything else would, if not more. So that's what I like to do. I just have this one zombie here. I'm going to be showing you guys where you can buy and locate all the armor at. So you can always resupplement your armor. And if you want to upgrade your weapon. So like I said, you always have left, middle, and right. There's always going to be stuff on each side. So on the left side, the armor guy is going to be right in this little building here. You can climb up the stairs. Buy them. Get your armor, whatever you need to get. You have level one, two, three. You're gonna need a different amount of points for each of them. The higher, the higher level, the more points. For the middle door, right here, right in this little shack. Level one, two, three, same thing. <laughs> for the right door, right side gonna be in this little shack over here same thing level one two three and you can repair it 250 points and now another thing from all these um, armor people you can upgrade uh uncut tier two damage tier three tier four tier five it might be green or blue points it just depends I think the tier 4 is blue points, tier 5 is blue points, and the first two are green. Something like that. Just like that, it differs. But I'm going to show you guys an example of the lethal from the support table here. I mean, support from the table here. So this is the cheapest thing you can buy. 50 blue points. It, my points went from 80 to 30 on the right side. And this is the bow. You know, this is the cheapest thing you can get. You might not think it's the best thing. I'm, I'm going to show you guys that it is the best thing. I'm going to show you why. Because this mimic is coming, and he doesn't know what's coming. Now. And I figured this out the other day when I was playing. It, is that the crossbow is one shot to any mimic and any mangler on any round. And I'm going to show you guys this right now. One shot. The, the fire does its damage. And he's dead. Fire is the solution for quick killing in this game. Thanks for Against any my big zombie, like anything. You have eight bullets in this. So definitely use them wisely. It's kind of blowing through it. Just because it's satisfying. Stay dead. I burn 
and this is an example of the ring of fire. You just, uh, you just stand in it and let your gun do all the talk. Never stop shooting. So I just got a lot of points. I'm going to show you guys another support streak here. Let's do the death machine. Only 100 points. And when, the, you know, I'm saying only... When you're on the beginning rounds, it's hard to get your stuff, but when it's high rounds, zombies will drop the stuff like crazy. Let's see how good the death machine is again. I hope you run. Uh, this guy. See? The death machine is... The death machine, man. It literally Keep means what falling. it means. This makes me smile. Love the death machine. Nuclear. I'm gonna go to the beginning of the map so I can show you guys pack punch. I'm gonna go right down here, a little, little like this. And right off spawn is where the pack of punch is. 5,000 ammo mods. I'm gonna get brain rot. And I have turned all the way upgraded. So you can get these big guys on your team. I can tell you right now. Look at this guy. Just looking at the zombie chase me, you know, it's, it's just, uh, not killing, huh? <laughs> Let's just say the zombies are the best. No, they're all really good, I don't know what he's doing right there. But, the... Let me kill this guy. So this is gonna be the last thing we're gonna explain. The Wonder Fizz machine is absolutely amazing. Get all the perks right here, you don't gotta run around and get nothing. One last thing I wanted to say is I know I have a lot of viewers out there that love watching my H1Z1 montages and I really appreciate that. But this video is strictly a shout out to my cousin. I'm making this video for my cousin. I love you cousin. I'm going to put a little surprise clip in there for you. Appreciate all the viewers. Love you guys. You guys, you got your crystals. Boom, 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 boom,